Hello everyone, this is Beastly Eel here, and in today's video, I'm going to be coming up with my predictions of the newest death battle that will be coming out on Monday. It is between the Chosen Undead from Dark Souls versus the Last Dragonborn from Skyrim, specifically Skyrim, uh, the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, sorry. <clears throat> um... This one was honestly one of the toughest ones to go through because both are protagonists in the game, meaning you get to play as both of them. You get to come up with what they look like. Um, all their facial expressions, all that stuff, you're able to customize all of it. And granted, you are allowed to learn every single type of ability. You get to mix and match it and see what works best for you. So how can you decide which one has what? I don't think you can. I think you have to give them all of it because they have the access to all of it. Because in the games, you're allowed to change it at any time once you unlock it. So therefore, they have the ability the ability, sorry, to do it all. And granted, even though their powers are different, right, um, they are very similar and can counteract each other. Same way with their armors and their weapons. They have this access to all these different types of things, and yet all of them seem to counteract each other. What this... Personally, this fight reminds me of is this is going to be very similar to like the Mario versus Sonic fight um, in the sense of like all their abilities pretty much counter each other and they can keep switching between the two and it's going to come down to who is the strongest without it. And and I, I might get a lot of flack for this, but I think the last Dragonborn is physically stronger, but not by much. And the Chosen Undead is faster. So, it's going to come down to, well, it comes down to whose defense is better, and I think they're even. So, what works better? Is it the strength that breaks the armor, or the speed that will cut through the armor, they think? it's it, it, This is a very tough one, because, honestly, this, this is one of those where it was like, uh, although not so much like Mario vs. Sonic in the sense of where I thought Sonic was going to win, this one, it's, it seems so even. And I think it's so even because there's just so much, um, is so much going on. So meaning like there's, they just have so many abilities that I don't think I'm confident I know which one would actually win this fight. Um, so if I had to guess, right, because it sounds like for dragon shouts to happen, they have to like actually shout, Right. Where the Chosen Undead can just cast, to my knowledge, um, if I remember correctly, although I think they do need some equipment at times. So, based on the opponents that they have, I think, I think the Chosen Undead is going to win. And even then, I'm not confident. Because I'm comparing two very different things um, in the sense of, like, uh, their, their character, their villains aren't the same you know what i mean it's such different gameplay that it doesn't show off their full strength and abilities in the sense of their opponents and themselves because in gameplay and everything else the dragonborn seems slower right and stronger where the other one um the chosen undead seems faster not necessarily weaker but doesn't do as much damage unless increased with um um magic or um i think it's enchantments blessings what are they called so many different things. Uh, miracles, pyromances, and sorceries. Sorry. Um, and where these have um, dragon shouts, spells in general. I do apologize. I'm trying to do this all at the same time, and it's not going well. Um, dragon shouts, abilities, powers, all of it. Okay. And skills. And... Uh, Because I got to think, right? Because I don't remember the Chosen Undead. I don't think their stats go up unless they use a specific spell. But the stats go up for the last Dragonborn based on your skills that you increase. And you can get it up to 200. Uh, this is so tough. This is tougher than I want it to be. Um, against, I'm changing my answer because of this. Because of the skill thing that I completely forgot about. Um, and it's, he's basically able to do all of it equally. Um, I'm not proud of this, 
but I am going to go with The Last Dragonborn. And either way, I wasn't happy with it either way. So right now I'm sticking with The Last Dragonborn due to um, the skill set um, that you're able to increase in-game. And um, I think he's physically stronger than um, The Chosen Undead. But honestly, I I'm not going to lie to you guys, I am not confident in, in my answer. I mean, I flip-flopped in this in this video alone. I think this one's going to be the toughest one. I know some people are going to be like, well, it's obvious. I disagree that it's obvious, personally. Um, unless I'm missing something huge, which I very well could be. Um, but I really, I, I really tried, this is why the video is late, is I tried to really truly understand all their abilities, which was so much, so many weapons. And it seems like they always have access to all of it. So they can change it at almost any time. So it's like they have an, a plethora of different weapons, materials, all this stuff, right? And they have all the abilities to use magic, spells, sh dragon shouts, right? All these different abilities that can use elements right? And their armors can resist these elements. So it's like, it's this back and forth of, of, of ridiculousness. So because of this, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not strong with it, but because of the skills that are able to be increased in game, I am going to go with the last dragonborn as the winner of this death battle. Now, let me know what you guys think who is going to win this death battle in the comments below. Mostly due to the fact that, honestly, I will take anybody's advice at this point because I can be easily swayed on this one because I am, I just think they're way too, too even. Um, and let me know why you think they're going to win as well. That being said, um, if you like the content you see, please like and subscribe below. Other than that, this is going to be Beastly Eel signing out. Have a great night.